All right, got a fun little update uh, for you today. If you've been following any of the other videos I've created about the Memento app, uh, and the links are down below if you want to check those out. Uh, got a great uh, update from the developer, so who I'm also going to be talking with on the Productivity Academy uh, podcast, which I'll include that link down below if you want to check out that or uh, previous episodes. But I'll be talking to him later uh, in the month. But he uh, responded, I had asked, like, you know, this would be really cool if we could get timestamps, right? Because uh, it's already connected to Readwise, which means you can get your information automatically out. You just enter your API key for Readwise and then take that where you want to go. For me, that's Rome. For other people, it might be Evernote, it might be Notion, wherever it is, right? Uh, but then having timestamps allows you to go back because it is a transcription. It's not always perfect. Uh, that's just the way transcriptions work. And sometimes you want to go back and maybe either listen to it because you want to listen to it or you want to go back and, and hear it. Maybe you need to edit uh, your notes or go back and make sure you heard something correctly or it was transcribed correctly. So that wasn't originally in there, but he's added that. It's really great. So for an example here, I was listening to a podcast episode here, Tim Ferriss, and just testing it out and saying, hey, testing to see if it uh, goes out. Does the timestamp show up? Yes, it does, which is really nice. Um, so that's really cool. Uh, and then to see that this transferred over, of course, into, for me, Rome, um, I've got the timestamp there so I can very quickly get back to that. So great to see that in action and uh, makes it add some just another layer of utility to this. Uh, for me, it makes it much more quickly if I need to go back, uh, do any editing, anything like that. So really liking where this is going and looking forward to talking to him about the, uh, about the app too. So if you have any questions you, you would want me to ask him, uh, anything along the lines of the app or his business or what he does in, in terms of productivity or the app, uh, feel free to leave a comment and I'll make sure to uh, add those on to the interview questions. Hope this helps.